Hey everyone, it's Kim, the Homeschooling Grammy, and today let's talk about standardized testing. Okay, so I know that I've had this question come to me a few times now, um, especially from people that are New York State homeschoolers. They have questions about standardized testing. What are the rules? How are we supposed to do it? When are we supposed to do it? Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> so I'm going to share with you what I do. And you can just take it from there. Of course, I have to follow the guidelines of New York State, clearly. But I'm just going to share with you how we do it, what we do, what we use, all of that kind of stuff. Okay, so per the regulations for New York State, you need to give your homeschooler a standardized test starting technically like fourth grade. So the requirement is every other year after fourth grade and then every year in high school. So you can choose to either do fourth, sixth, and eighth grade or you can do fifth and seventh grade, but you have to test every year for high school, ninth through 12th grade. So what we choose to do for, you know, our district is that we are going to do fifth and seventh grade. So that means that I have not yet been required to hand in test scores to our district. Does that mean that I haven't administered a standardized test yet? Okay, so have we done standardized testing in our homeschool? Yes, we have. Do I like them? No, I don't. I think they just pigeonhole. I don't think that, I don't know. I, I don't like them, but it's a necessary thing. We have to do it here in the state of New York. Um, so I am a firm believer in being prepared. Like, I think that we need to prepare our children. And I don't think that we should wait till the last minute to decide that, okay, you know what? I have to do it now. It's the end of fifth grade. I didn't do it for fourth, so I need to do it for fifth. And throw your child in there for the first time, never having been exposed. So there are some pluses to it. One thing it has done for us is helped me decide on curriculum. Like I have been able to see maybe some things that I didn't notice, even though, I mean, you know, you're one-on-one -on -one with your child every day. You know what they can and cannot do. But this test just kind of gives you an idea. Okay, so what is the rest of the world doing? <laughs> I know, we homeschool, so we don't have to worry about what the rest of the world is doing. But when you have a state in which you need to do these testing, it ends up being kind of important. So anyways, we did do standardized testing. We have done it in second grade. We did it at the end of third grade and we just got done doing fourth grade as well. Um, and yeah, so is it a little bit stressful for everybody involved? Yes, because it's long and it's tedious and it's boring. And yeah, some people split it into two days. Our philosophy is, and same with my grandchild, because I asked her, I'm like, you know, would you rather split it up in over two days or you want to just get it done? And her answer is, let's just get it done. <laughs> so that's what we did. So, okay, now I'm going to share with you what we use and why I chose what we use. Okay, so I guess I should probably share with you who administers the test. So in the state of New York, it gives, you know, a few options, but one of the options is other that other option allows you to be the test administrator in the state of New York. So I administer the test and it's really simple. The testing that I choose to do is not paper. It is online. So all I have to do is I purchase the test. I get the computer up and running for her. Um, and with each section, all I do is I go over with her the two sample questions that they have in the beginning so that she understands what she is doing, I leave the room. She's on her own. 
she hollers to me when she's done. That's how it works. It's that simple. So we use um, academic excellence and I'm going to leave their link down in my description box down below. No, I'm not sponsored by them. None of that. I'm just telling you because I have found that it is easiest for us. It's literally you go online, you pay for the test and that's it. So academic excellence, educational resources. So this actually is a copy of the test that we just did and her scores for the end of fourth grade. What we did is I went in and I purchased, so there's two different levels at academic excellence. And by the way, it's the CAT, the California Achievement Test. There is two ways that you can choose. You can choose to do paper and pencil and do it that way, or you can choose to do it online. Online is so much faster. You figure as soon as they're done with the exam, you get the results immediately. They send you the email with the test results. You can print them off. It's a beautiful thing. So I also purchased something called premium scoring. I like it because it gets into more detail, really breaks down exactly where your child is at beyond just the scores. Because the basic, which is what I have printed here, um, will give you a raw score, it will give you a grade equivalent score, and it will give you a percentile rank and a stay nine, stay nine score, um, which is fine. I just like to pay for the extra um, just for my own benefit. I like it. It's not that much of a big deal. Like I'll give you an example. I actually paid for this testing back in January because they had a coupon for $5 off for ordering early, even though I didn't use it till just recently. And so that $5 coupon actually pays for the premium scoring. It's a $5 difference. So instead of paying $20 for testing, I paid $25. I think that's very reasonable. Um, yeah very reasonable and it just gives you an overall everything that you need um and so what i do is i print these off i mean obviously i you know keep my emails i have them with all of her test scores but i also keep hard copies for myself i keep them in a safe place so that we have them and when the time comes instead of doing your year end evaluation, which is what you will you do for homeschooling in the state of New York is you do a year end evaluation normally if it's not a test year. So instead of doing your year end evaluation, you would send in your test scores instead. So yeah, it's really easy. Okay, so I hope that this answers all of your questions. I know it's super, super scary. It really is even for me. And I've been homeschooling for a long time. I started homeschooling like way back in the mid 1990s. And it's even a little scary for me because you start second guessing yourself. You're like, oh my gosh, you know, what if they don't test where you think that they should be or whatever, or blah, blah, blah. But what I have found is it has really pointed me in directions for our homeschool where I can say, okay, we need to work more on this or that. Even though in the back of my mind, I already kind of knew that there were some issues in those certain areas. Um, but this, you know, kind of like drives it home for me and says, okay, the curriculum we're using may not be working. And that's a good thing. So try to not think of the testing in so much of a negative connotation, which I have always tended to do. I still don't like it. Um, but it does have some pluses attached to it. So if you have any questions at all, feel free. You can send me an email. My email is always in the description box. I would be happy to answer any questions that you have. If I don't know the answers, I will find out where you can get them. So God bless and take care and I'll talk to you in the next video.